Could you explain to us what being forum director really means and what kind of <laughs> obligations and challenges has this title brought to you up till now? So being the forum director means that I am responsible for organizing all parts of the Global Youth Forum. Um, different aspects are covered by different people, so the CA team cover the debating tournaments, uh, the curriculum director covers the teaching elements with the trainers, but ultimate responsibility for organizing all of those people falls to me, uh, which is great fun, but it's a challenge when it's everything from food requirements for participants, to travel and transportation for our trainers, to organizing socials, to figuring out whether or not toilets need toilet paper or hand towels or soap. So it really is a job where you get to, uh, to experience every single part of the youth work. Have you encountered any obstacles or difficulties while organizing the Global Youth Forum 2013? So there are literally hundreds of things that can present themselves as issues at the forum. And the, the task, I think, for the team is to figure out how to deal with those properly. It can be anything from uh, participants showing up and having food requirements that they didn't tell us about in, in advance, to people applying for visas too late, to uh, two days ago we had to send one of our volunteers to buy soccer balls for the sports day. So literally, the, uh, the job of the forum director is to try to anticipate problems and to be a troubleshooter when they do come up. How were you introduced to debate as an idea and the Global Youth Forum as an idea? And what is your perception of the event right now as the forum director? Do you really want me to answer that? <laughs> um, <laughs> to debate, I was introduced in 1997. By my secondary, by a secondary school teacher who decided that I was loud and obnoxious enough that I should join the school's debating team. Um, Fifteen years later, sixteen years later, I'm still involved in debating, and I was a debater throughout university. I was actually involved in the debating society here in NUI Galway when I was at university, uh, and then I went to work for first the English speaking union and then for IDEA. Um, in terms of this event. For me, I was introduced to this event about uh, probably about 15 months ago. Um, the first that I really heard about it was a, a friend of mine, Veronica, used to run the Global Youth Forum and had approached me to ask me to come and be a member of the trainer pool in Istanbul. Uh, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it, but that was the first time I realized that this event happened. It doesn't really uh, key much into the Irish debating circuit. Um, when IDEA looked for a foreign director last year, I researched the event and realized it was something that I really wanted to be involved in. And from my perspective, the kind of the key thing for me is this isn't an ultra competitive, we need to find ourselves world champions type event, although that is part of it. It also isn't an academy that is just about engaging in workshops and teaching, although that is part of it. It's also, it kind of brings together the reason that I'm interested in debate and it's that cross-cultural um, sharing of ideas and sharing of experiences. That's what I really think is unique about this event and what I think makes this event uh, one that is really cool for participants but also for trainers and for people like me to work on. It's probably a higher workload than organizing most academies or competitions because simply by its scale, it's a two week long event that's 14 days that you're doing 14, 15 hour days looking after participants. Um, the range of people that travel is, f to my mind, uh, an enormous burden in terms of their travel arrangements or their visa processes or just getting the information to them about how they get to, to Galway or to wherever the forum is held. But uh, it's all worthwhile because the event at the end of the day is such a, a special and unique thing. How is Global Youth Forum perceived by the community here in Galway and how is it perceived by the press so far? Honestly, the community here in Galway didn't have a clue what the Global Youth Forum was until last October. Um, I got in touch with the Literary and Debating Society when we had to change our forum hosts and they had never heard of the event. They knew me and I had managed to convince them to do things in the past that maybe weren't in the best interests of them or the society uh, and have now managed to convince them to run this. Um, immediately we got interest from a local team and we've got the first Irish team at the forum this year, a team who live about three miles that way from the university and go to school about two miles that way from the university. Uh, and they've been, 
I think they've been probably one of the most important parts of the forum. The boys have been talking to everyone, telling them about excursions, explaining things in Irish, even showing people how to play hurling. It's, uh, it's been really interesting to see them integrate and to see that for the first time and hopefully it'll be the first of many Irish teams that we have at the forum. And locally, we've, we've gotten some interest. Uh, we did a piece on the local radio station Go of AFM. Um, we were lucky enough to be published in the Irish Times newspaper and we're hoping that more people are, more people are going to see some coverage in the local papers this week as well. So the local press are interested, the local community is getting involved. The university are probably the key one. They're super excited about hosting the event and every time I meet any of the staff, be there from the, from the canteen where we're taking meals to the facility staff to the people in the conference office that we're working with, they're all saying how interesting an event it is and how fantastic, particularly on, on Country Expo where we had everyone set up with their tables. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen university staff hanging around and talking to people as much, but everyone seems to be really enjoying it. It fits well with Galway. So this year's forum's theme is Digital Freedom. Why this particular theme and how the participants, except debating the, the prepared motions, will engage with this theme? You can... I, I think digital freedoms are just... We, we've seen in the past 18 months the power that the internet has and how big a tool the internet is for organization. If you look at the way that young people use the internet to keep in touch with each other, the way that we arrange events. It's now impossible to conceive of a world where the internet didn't exist. But alongside with us using the internet as a tool, it's becoming apparent how much everything we do online is monitored. It's not the anonymous facility that we believed it was. It's not this kind of white wall that exists in the middle of nowhere that you can write your ideas on and people can agree with or disagree with. Instead, it's it's covered in security cameras and secret policemen watching what you're doing. And the debate about internet freedom is one that's probably going to be the most important debate that we have at the start of this millennium, let alone uh, in our lifetimes. The decisions that we make in terms of what is or isn't appropriate in terms of surveillance will be made in the next 10 or 15 years, and it will really shape what the future of our world is going to look like. So it's important for me as important as it was in the 90s and the early 2000s when this ran for the first time to talk about migration and youth investment and employment and education, it's now this is the reality that young people live in and it's important that they're equipped with the tools that let them not only talk about these issues but also talk from a knowledgeable place about these issues. Um, so I think that the, the theme is, is a vitally important one and probably one that will get more attention over the next couple of years. What are your impressions of the Global Youth Forum so far? The Global Youth Forum is a lot of work, but at the end of the day, the work that you get is worthwhile. When you see two kids from backgrounds that would never sit down and exchange ideas and discuss issues that affect both of them in very different ways, you see the value of what you do. And the work isn't just from a staff point of view. The work for me is 12 months a year as forum director, but for our trainers, it's their months of preparation before they come to the forum and then the burden that they have for our CA team. It's all of the time that they spend in the tab room during the competitions from everyone down to the stream team who are making all this stuff available online. It's, it's, it's a really big, chunky job that needs to get done. But hopefully in a week's time when it's all over we can sit back and say, well that was worth it. You've said a couple of times that you lived and studied here at the NY, NUI and I want to know what are your favorite three places in Galway and what are your recommendations <laughs> for Galway? <laughs> my favorite three places in Galway, pubs, pubs, pubs. Um, my favorite three places in Galway, I don't think there's any place in the world that matches this city. I think I, I've, lived in, I've lived in Paris, Dublin, London, I've visited so I've been lucky enough to visit so many different places around the world, but whenever I think of some place that I want to um, that I want to bring people to, it's Galway. It's such a great mix of a city. There's so many different things happening, from really modern medical devices research to painting and the Irish language in Connemara. Like it's, if you want to find anything that you want to find, you can find in Galway. My three favorite places, uh, the Spanish Arch, 
at sunset with friends on one of the rare Galway summer's evening is fantastic. Looking out over Galway Bay, sitting down and figuring out all of the problems with the world. Um, my second favourite place is McDonough's Fish and Chip Shop, which is conveniently located to the Spanish Arch. If you think you've had good fish and chips and you haven't eaten at McDonough's, you're wrong. I think we've probably kept the place afloat with people being sent in to get fish uh, during the forum. And my third favourite place is here, it's NUI Galway. It's, it's such an important part of the city. Um, you kind of have a city of 70, 80,000 people, but 17,000 of them study here and probably another four or 5,000 work on campus. So you're talking about a quarter of the city being encapsulated and boiled down in a couple of square miles at the university campus. And the effect that the university has in the town is phenomenal. The effect that the town has on the university is phenomenal. So I think that they're inextricably linked, but the best things in Galway come from the college. Thank you very much.